Welcome to the short episode where I'm going to differentiate between the magnetic force and the electric force. So this over here is, um, let's see, a magnetic force over here. So let's begin by differentiating the, the di let's begin by differentiating the forces. All right, the first difference that we are seeing, the obvious difference is that the magnetic force is velocity dependent. Whereas the electric force is velocity independent. If you want to know what the electric force is, whether the force charge is at rest or whether the charge is moving, it doesn't matter. No velocity comes into picture. But you clearly see that velocity matters. If the velocity is zero, then the force on that charge is zero. And I've told this before, I'm going to tell it again. This is very weird. It really is. All right, so let's look at a second difference that we can see and the difference has to do with the cross product over here. The cross product tells us that the force is perpendicular to the magnetic field. But in electricity that's not what we see. We always see that the force is in the same direction as the electric field. So we can say force is parallel to electric field. Okay now comes a major difference. It's a very subtle difference but it's a very very big difference and that is difference number three I'm gonna put some stars over there and the difference is not only is the force perpendicular to the magnetic field but it's also perpendicular to the velocity as you can see it's a cross product so you would say okay what's the big deal the big deal is if the force is perpendicular to the velocity vector this also means that the force the magnetic force is perpendicular to remember velocity instantaneous velocity is just dx by dt is also perpendicular to the dx vector what does that mean well if you remember your your work power and energy if you remember that then remember that you define the work done work is a scalar quantity work as the force dot displacement okay tiny work done by a force or a tiny distance is defined that way but if the force is perpendicular to the magnetic field then that means that the work done by the magnetic field on a charge is always zero and that is so so super important and that's not what we see when it comes to electric fields you notice that in electric fields they have nothing to do with velocity so they could come perpendicular they may not come perpendicular they can have any angles so in general electric force does work so work done by the electric force on a charged particle is not zero and you know why this is so important because since electric force does work it can change the speed of a charged particle and that's where the whole idea behind uh, electric potential came. The whole second chapter was due to the fact that electric fields can do work, but magnetic fields cannot do work. Therefore, magnetic fields cannot change the speed of the charged particles. And I can't stress enough on this, okay? I don't know how do I stress a lot on this, but this is super important because this tells us that the magnetic field it doesn't matter whether we're dealing with a uniform magnetic field or non-uniform magnetic field as long as we have a magnetic field a magnetic field cannot change the speed of a charged particle it cannot increase or decrease the speed it cannot increase or decrease the kinetic energy of a charged particle and that's why we're not going to talk about magnetic potentials because that's going to be useless for us of course in advanced electromagnetic field theory we do come up with magnetic potentials but let's not talk about that over here as you can see that's not going to be very important for us but electric fields can and they do change the kinetic energy of the charged particles because they can do work they can increase the speed or they can decrease the speed of the charged particles all right so i hope i was able to give you some idea behind the differences we're gonna build up more upon this see you next time